Hi gorgeous, welcome back to Vitaly Style. Today we're talking monthly favorites. It is January, these are January favorites. I'm so excited we're in February and we are that much closer to spring. I, if you follow me on social media, if you follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, you'll know that Joe and I recently closed on our house and our new house and we've just been busy with painting and trying to get it moving ready. Um, the house is practically brand new, so it doesn't really need a whole lot. We just need some paint and some special, like, special touches. Um, so, anyway, I wanted to give you uh, a little heads up on that. So, if you see me here being a little MIA, it's because we're doing a transition from moving all of the stuff here to there. So, that might just take a few days. Um, I do have a couple videos recorded, so I'm hoping that there won't be too much. Uh, I won't be missing here too much, but just to give you a heads up in case you don't see me here um, a whole, whole lot in the next week or so because we are hoping to be moved by the uh, end of probably this week. So, ah! follow me on my vlog channel if you don't and social media, Instagram because I've been posting sneak peeks of the house um, as kind of we get it, we get it ready. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I want to talk about is, of course, I'm not going to talk about it too much because I did an entire video on it, but it's this foundation. It is the uh, Revlon Age Defying Firming and Lifting Makeup. I actually think I talked about this in my weekly favorites a couple weeks ago, and it just deserves another mention because it's fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. I love this. It is just um, one of my favorite foundations of all time. And I want to mention that this look, which is a look I wore in an Instagram post where I had a braid to the side, um, I did a tutorial on it, it's coming soon. The only difference is I added some lashes and a teeny tiny bit of eyeliner. So that's the only difference, but it's using a lot of these products and I'm calling it like my winter rose gold bronze because it's like faking the bronze because I'm not bronze whatsoever. <laughs> um, so I wanted to give myself a little bit of that bronzy glow. So I just used several different products to achieve it and that video is coming up in just a couple of days. So keep an eye out for that. The next uh, face product I want to talk about is this Revlon Photo Light Skin Light Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights Face Illuminator in 400 Bronze Light. This you will see is kind of what helps me get that bronze glow. Um, which I'm actually not wearing this today. The, the tutorial will be coming up in a couple days and it's just fabulous and uh, it's so easy. But I love this. This really helps you get that bronze look to the skin. Um, and I just love it. If you don't have any of these, I have pretty much all of them. You should pick it up, especially this one. This one's gorgeous. It's going to be perfect in the summer or in, in the spring just to put a little bit on your chest to give you a little bit of color. It's amazing. Okay, let's talk cheeks for a second, shall we? This bronzer, now this is a sample, and I have the one in um, Maldives from Buxom, and this is in Tahiti. This is the uh, How to Escapes bronzers. This was the Maldives, and this is the Tahiti one. I'm out of this one. I'm going to get the big size of it because I love these bronzers so much. They look like this in the big pan, but this is not the one I've been using. I've been using this one. Smells like tropical, coconutty fabulousness. It's a great, great bronzer. It's a great bronzer to give you that bronze look to the skin. It's not a bronzer you'd contour with. It's a bronzer you really just kind of warm up the skin with, and it's just gorgeous. I'm going to do a swatch, but I don't think you'll really be able to see it. It has a really great, you can actually see it, in the camera. It has a really great like um, golden bronze undertone. Look at that. It is, just looks fabulous on the skin. I am wearing this today um, and it's really phenomenal. So I love that. And then the blush that I have just, I've been um, doing the same look because I've been so busy with, I've been going to New York constantly and I've been working on the house. So it's like I have been keeping these products in like a little bag and working out of the little bag to do my makeup every day because I don't want to have, I don't want to really have to think about what I'm going to be putting on my face because I don't have time. Um, so these are the products I've been using and I've been just so happy with, but I can't wait to feel like settled again into our new home and then I can really play around with my makeup and stuff. But I pulled this blush out not too long ago, and this is the Milani Baked Blush in Rose Dioro, and it is just fabulous. If you don't have any of these Milani Baked Blushes, I suggest you pick up every single one because they are amazing. They definitely have a lot, some of them more than others, have a lot of sheen, shine, and some even have some like sparkle to it, but not, nothing chunky. Everything is just really, really subtle 
and this is one of my all-time favorites. It's what I'm wearing today. It's right over here. I'm wearing today on my cheeks with no other highlighter. This is all I have on. It gives you a really amazing glow. It's I'm I'm having um I, I was talking to my mom. No, I was talking to my nona and my grandma is a big big gardener. She does she's got a lot of plants, a lot of flowers. And she says I'm having spring fever. I said I said I'm having spring fever. And she says I'm actually having summer fever. I want all my pink stuff to be out and bloom. Um so we're both kind of trying to make ourselves feel better like in any way that we can to to I don't know. I'm just really eager for warm weather. That's what I'm excited for. Um so I pull this one out and it just gives me a gorgeous rosy glow such a gorgeous blush I love it you need this in your life don't mind my hair I've done absolutely nothing to it I washed it last night blow dried it really quickly didn't even round brush it I just put it in a bun went to bed and I woke up and this is how it looks and some people I'm gonna I'm going to be doing my full video on it it's coming up this week on how I do my hair on my hair care routine but don't be disappointed because I don't do anything special it's just the way it looks, but I'll explain it all in that video. So look for it. I have a makeup, makeup tutorial coming up, and then that video follow, following that. So keep an eye out for that. And then for uh, my eyes, I've got two drugstore shadows that are two of my all-time favorite drugstore eyeshadows. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Shadow in Amber Rush. I'm wearing this all over the lid today. This is a total dupe for um, MAC Pigment in Tan. It is gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that right there. It's not even wet. And you can wear this wet, of course. But look at that right there. It's phenomenal. If you all you have is one drugstore eyeshadow, that should be it. Because the, you can't go wrong. I have this all over my lid today. And then in the inner corner, and as a brow bone highlight, I'm using the... I've used this CoverGirl um, eyeshadow in champagne. I've had this for years. I don't know if you can see that I've hit pan on it. I've had this for so long. I've had multiple of these, and it's just a really, 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 like, it's very similar to, um, it's around the same lines as, like, a Shroom from MAC, but I think it's even better because it's not as chunky. It's a little bit more smoother, so I love that. And then, I'll save the very, very best for last, um, but we'll go on to some lip products. The lip liner I've really been loving. I, I need a lip liner no matter what I do, most of the time. And m a lot of times, I want a lip liner that's basically the same color as my lips. It's just... It, it just acts as a base for my lipstick or for whatever um, to go on top of it because I think it just makes your lipstick just last a lot longer if you put them on top of a lip liner. And the one that really matches my lips to the T, and I'm wearing this today, is by Essence, and it's the color um, 11 in the Nude. I think this is like $1.50 or something like that. It's really inexpensive, and it's literally the same color as my lips. It's right over here. It's the same color as my lips. It just makes everything you put on top of it look better, last longer. You can go anywhere with, with with this lip liner from like really nude, like MAC, Myth, or uh, light pink, slim cream cup, or the next one I'm going to show you. Or you can do really hot pinks or in corals. It's just, it's just a base for your lips. Think of it as a primer, as a primer for your lips. But the lipstick I'm wearing today, it's this guy. It, this is the... Buxom Big and Healthy Lipstick in the color London. I have a few of these, and this ha is one of my favorites. And it's just a really, I'm getting more into my pale pinks, which I haven't been into in a while. I've been really into the mauves, that 90s lip trend. Um, but this is the color right here. I don't know if you can really see it that well, but it's right over here. It's a really, really great color, and I love the way these feel. They're minty, but they're not overly minty. Um, they just feel really, really good. I love that. I love that color. And then the next one, actually the next two are long-wearing lipsticks. This first one is by Stila. It is the all-day liquid lipstick in the color Bellissima. And you'll see this be used in my uh, makeup tutorial coming soon. And again, it's a very light pale pink. This might be a little too pale for some people, but I tend to really, really like it. Um, and it dries to a matte finish, which I love, love, love. Like, this doesn't dry to a matte finish, but it's not glossy and slick or anything like that. It's just a perfect consistency. But this one does dry to a matte finish, and that's what it looks like right there. It's a little bit, like, I think I would say it's maybe a hair warmer and darker than the Buxom one. It's right over here. 
And then the last lip product is by Anastasia, and it's one of her liquid lipsticks in the color Pure Hollywood. The second these launched, I had my eye on this because I see, I don't know how do you pronounce her name on Instagram, Amarezi, Amarezi? I'm sure you guys know who she is if you follow her on Instagram. She's like a amazing, amazing like, makeup artist, I think, and she does great like just the most beautiful looks in the world and she's so fabulous. I love the way she dresses. I love the way I love her her figure, the way she carries herself. She's phenomenal and she just has like makeup skills to pay the bills. I mean, it's <laughs> unbelievable. Um and she used she was wearing this a lot. I guess she she had gotten these before they launched and she wore this all the time. So whenever they launched, I was like, I have to get my hands on that. And this is the only color I picked up. If any of you picked up any more of the Anastasia lip balm, um, Pure Hollywood lipsticks, Pure Hollywood lipsticks, liquid lipsticks um, in any other shades. Let me know, comment down below what favorite, like what color you like the most because I'm so indecisive. I don't know what else to order. Like I want all of them, but I don't want to be ridiculous. So I just want to pick up a few and I would love for you to tell me your favorites so I can give those a try. But this is just a very gorgeous pale nude. And uh, Kim Kardashian's been rocking this. Like everybody has been rocking this. It's interesting because it's a nude with a mauve undertone. It's right over here. But I find that this looks different on a lot of people. On some people, it looks super, super nude, like myth. On some other people, it looks quite pink. On a few other people, it looks a little bit, it pulls a little bit more mauve. So it really depends. On me, I would say it pulls a little bit more nude than it shows on my hand. I don't know, it's strange, but I also love this with different lip liners. I love it with Whirl um, to give it a little bit more of that mauve. I love it with Strip Down to make it a little bit more nude. Um, it's just phenomenal. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So I'm really happy with that. And then the last favorite, and perhaps my number one favorite, this was a recommendation from you. A lot of you told me to pick this up because you know I told you I have really dry skin, especially on my legs and stuff. Um, especially in the winter and I was asking you know what can I do to like I've tried every single uh, body butter body everything under the sun and I couldn't think of anything and then some people told me to try castor oil like on different parts of my body and I was like I don't know what that is I've never heard of that before so I went on Amazon because Amazon's the answer to like all life's questions. <laughs> um, and I researched some castor oil and I came upon this one. I don't, it's by Now Solutions. I don't know. I keep this in my bathroom so it's a little bit gross. But this one apparently is like food grade. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah. The castor oil contained in this product is considered food grade. I don't eat it, I don't cook with it. What I've been doing is putting a dollop, like a little dot of it into some lotion and putting it on my body. Like I don't put it straight up on my body because it's very, very thick. Like it doesn't look like it's very thick, but it's very thick. So I put a little bit on my body, like um, on my lotion, I put a little bit in there, mix it around and lather myself up and my body feels so supple and smooth and moisturized until the next day. It is phenomenal, I absolutely love it. And what else I've been doing with it is I've been putting this on my brows, which a lot of you told me to do that a while back. I mentioned that I was going like on project growing my brows back, which I'm still working on, so I'm not gonna do a video just yet because it takes apparently like three months. And so many people said, put castor oil on your brows. So what I've been doing, so for the first time I got this, it was comical. I took off the cap, I dipped a spoolie in there, and I just went to town, and so much came out. It was like castor oil was just all over my face. It was ridiculous. So now what I do is I just put a little teeny dot on, on my finger, mush it together like this, and just really, really massage my brows every single night. And um, what I've also been doing is I take a, uh, like a, um, an eyeliner pencil and I just put a little bit of castor oil on it and I just traced over my lash band with it and I gotta show you my my eyelashes I mean like I don't know if you can really see it because it's not that zoomed in because I'm so zoomed in it might not be as um, as clear but my eyelashes have been like no oops, they have been like no joke they're growing they're 
like long it's unbelievable and I definitely attribute to this guy because I haven't been doing anything differently with my eye my eyelashes or my eyebrows or anything except for that and I have been really really loving it so those are all of my favorites from the month of January let me know what your favorites were down below I hope that you follow me on Instagram to get a sneak peek of the house and just different things that we are working on we are so 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 excited but we're also really like there's so much to do there's so much to get done and um i hear some mess um so we're kind of like trying to figure out a good pace to get everything done uh, so that neither one of us loses our marbles so that is everything thank you so much for watching again leave your requ request for what you want to see of course and your monthly favorites down below i always appreciate you guys interacting with me because it's like we're all friends and when you don't interact and i feel sad so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye